The pearl oyster dish really sums up my philosophy and where I'm at right now with my cooking. The vessel we serve this dish in is actually the polished shell of the pearl oyster. So what we do with the dish is we, uh, we start off with a little bit of horseradish cream. I add a little bit of pickled kohlrabi, which gives the dish a little bit of bite and crunch. Then I make this little smoked eel brandard, and then we coat it in these little egg white droplets and we make a sort of perfect little pearl. We actually cook some tapioca in a little smoked eel stock um, so the tapioca takes on the flavour of the smoked eel. The dish is then sort of built up with a few other ingredients. We use a little bit of sliced octopus and then of course the most important element we actually put the pearl oyster meat which is just very lightly poached in a little bit of uh, grapeseed oil. The pearl meat itself is actually shaved very thinly, almost like sashimi. It's, it's only cooked very briefly. It's then uh, garnished with some wasabi flowers which we get from Tasmania. The whole dish comes together with all these sort of complementary flavours and uh, textures. And then it's served in the shell and it's quite a beautiful dish to look at. And it really sums up my uh, philosophy of using nature as my inspiration. This dish also really represents the term New Australian Cuisine. Um, we are very lucky in this country that we have 95, 98% of the ingredients we use on the menu here come from Australia. We have a, uh, a very vast sort of growing climate that's in different parts of Australia. And we have pearl meat from uh, the very top of Australia up there in uh, Darwin and then right down uh, to Tasmania we have the wasabi flowers which have grown in the cold climate. So really this is, is such a truly Australian dish. It's about chefs coming up with ideas and using the influences that we have and our fantastic ingredients that we have here in Australia.